Yeah, yeah. Florida State. All right. Several fans. Go ahead, close that thing. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I don't like the background music. <laughs> <laughs> well, home sweet home for one night anyway. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to be back. Uh, you know, going on a six day trip, it seemed like it was two weeks. You know, we had some bus problems, we had some just minor league problems, but it was good to be back home and uh, good crowd. So we got some good uh, early work in too. That's what counts. What was Brooklyn's identity tonight and what made him so dominant as a great start? You know what, just like his first outing, that sinker. That sinker is, uh, man, it's a tough pitch for these hitters, these young hitters. He's locating it well, he's keeping the ball down. His angle has been really good, downward angle. And then he'll mix in that slider just just enough. And uh, so far, the last two outings, he's been pinpoint control. Let's talk about getting some runs finally after Sunday. You know, your first, first time you scored since Sunday. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah, we faced pretty good pitching in, in uh, Staten Island. Uh, and, uh, and we didn't have a very good approach. I thought tonight our approach was much better and much more patient. And, uh, you know, we, we put the ball on play and hit the ball hard. Has anything surprised you about Hannafee since he's come up here, since he's last saw him down in Gulf Coast? No, you know what? Uh, he did this an extent. And really, the last two weeks, well, that last week we extended, we had all that rain. But before that, you could really start seeing him put stuff together with that sinker. I mean, just just dominating the, the young hitters down there. Is there any update on, on Becker? Yeah, it looks like he dislocated the shoulder. Uh, shoulder, not a wrist. No, it was a shoulder. He just extended right at the end when he made that dive. And, right. Uh, he popped it out and he popped it back in when he got injured. <laughs> so he's feeling a little bit better. Than, <laughs> That's sore. Yeah, it looks like he'll have to get an MRI to see if there's any other damage. Right. But, uh, yeah, that's tough because he uh, he was one of our more consistent hitters exactly. on, this, on this road trip. Talk about number 44, two home runs. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I said in, in an extended spring, you know, I haven't really seen – I saw him get a hold of one ball. We were down at Fort Myers, but uh, but the three he's hit so far up here, man, I tell you what, he has put a charge in it. And uh, I think the first one was a slider. I thought it was a change if he said it was a slider. So it was good to see him stay back and not hook it mm-hmm. and stay through it. And then that last one, too, um, I thought that might hook on him a little bit. He's been kind of prone to go out and round balls and, right. and hit him foul. Just but he kept that one. He hit that one a lot of ways. So that's great to see. Well, talk, go ahead. talk about Ryan Ripken. What's going on with him at the plate? It looks like to me from the press box, he looks like he's stepping into the bucket too much. He's too spaced out and you know, it might be maybe yeah. moving his feet in a little bit. You know, a, a big guy like that, I, I haven't been able to get getting the consistent at bats. We've had so many good players. So hopefully we can get him some consistent at bats. And he is, he's leaking out a little bit and uh, pressing. I think he's pressing a little bit, but. Uh, uh, he took a one-on fastball. You know, his a bass for his a bass, but he took a one-on fastball tonight that was right there that he he usually doesn't take. So, so there's something going on. You know, he's not feeling real comfortable, but we'll try to get him get him going. All right, that's good. Thanks. Uh, good. How are you, Randy? With the Eagles here. Chris yeah, Idell for FM Radio. How you doing? How are you? Well, talk about the first home run and then talk about the second home run. What did you see on the first one and then you see on the second one? <laughs> um. Uh, just looking, the first guy who's throwing a lot of junk, you know, he didn't really have much velocity, so kind of just stayed back. He just got me my first at bat with change up, and the second at bat lined up the first, but I knew how to stay back, and I think it was a slider. He threw 3 0, I fouled, and they went right back at it, dropped the head, and it went out. And, and then the uh, second one, he just. The second, the second one, I mean, kind of. It was in your bread basket, pretty yeah, much. You apparently <laughs> liked it. Yeah. <laughs> um, first pitch took a swing, I think, and then he made me look stupid on a high fastball. I knew he was, he was gonna. He went low with the curveball. He spiked it, and then um, I think he was trying to go up and in like the fastball. Like the one he made me look bad. I wasn't gonna let that happen. Just got got my head on. So. The road trip, you you had a pretty good trip, at least from what I saw mm-hmm. on the stats. Um, obviously, you carried that in here tonight. Yeah, we had some great pitching tonight. I mean, Hanafi threw it on the real game. I mean, a lot of guys came up clutch. Ortega with that two RBI single. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was clutch. We really needed that. Uh, 
I mean, tonight was just a good, good all around effort. You know, we got some hits. Been struggling with the bat a little bit, but it was good to break through with 11 hits tonight. And I mean, a lot of guys contribute. I mean, kind of sucks. Beck went down. Beck's yeah. been a big contributor for us Absolutely. this year. Hopefully, he's not out that long. Hopefully, he gets back in the lineup. I mean, he's killing it right now. So we're gonna miss him for a little bit. But I mean, overall, I think I think we're we're getting some draft guys right now, and I mean, the guys coming in are, are helping us, so it's looking good. How happy are you that you're able to sort of put Hanafi ahead in the other six inning? Because he, he gave up a run in the top of the six, and if you to give him two runs. I mean, this is Hanafi's night. I mean, you can hear it. You can hear all the fans. Um, they're all happy. You know, I mean, what, how many hits did he give up? I think, oh, I think two. Yeah, two. Yeah, two, two hits. Two hits. Give up I mean, are you, yeah. are you kidding me? Like... What, what more can yeah, you yeah, ask yeah, out of a pitcher? I think it's been a long time for an Iowa pitcher to go six innings, right? You know, he, he, he dumped yeah. today, so um, I was just, just happy that we got the win for him. Right? You got, you got the win, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah he's at, he's 2-0 now. It's the first time he's given up a run. run. I mean, he's he's nasty. I mean, his sinker is unhittable. You know, I, I face him in live BP and it makes me look stupid. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy I'm not facing our pitchers. And our pitchers are throwing pretty good. So. They are. Anything else? That's it. Yeah, appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I think that's, I think that's, that's first of all, what it means to you to, I mean, you put a lot of you know, the crowd behind you today, obviously. What do you mean to pitch here for the ball? Yeah, well, it was fun. Uh, looked up in the stands a couple of times and saw, saw a bunch of familiar faces. So we kind of just added some more. Added some more. I don't know what's for the excitement of that first inning. So, a little more adrenaline than usual, but I thought I handled it well. We've heard from your coach, we've heard from your teammate. It's t- it was 11 and a third innings, I think, of scoreless baseball before they poked that one across on there. You tell us, what is it? What's working for you? What are you doing out there that's, that's kind of been dominant? Well, it's been throwing, throwing fastballs down the zone, I feel like. Uh, getting early contact. Trying to uh, trying not to show too much stuff early in the game. Tonight again, our catcher did an awesome job. You know what I'm saying? Page all night again. It kind of makes it easy. You're breaking some bats. Yeah, I like I like doing that a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of my game. It's fast, you know, fastballs inside. Anytime you break bats, it's good. success. Yeah. <laughs> What's your mentality when you get guys on? Because a couple of times you had guys on, you got out of it. Um, What's your mindset there? What do you do differently, uh, if anything? Somebody gets on, I usually go behind the mound, regather myself, try to bear down and get out of it. I did a decent job of that tonight. I don't know how many games I pitched out of. You know, there was two, maybe, like two or three. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And what did you learn from playing high school ball down in Harrisonburg, Virginia, in that Shenandoah Valley? How did what did you learn, you know, in playing high school ball, and you know, did that carry over to here? Uh, yeah, we uh, kind of the style of baseball hasn't really changed for me. Hmm. High school was basketball dominant. You know, get guys out early in the count, and right. keep your pitch, get pitch count down. That's kind of the kind of way it's been so far. I'm pleased with that. Though, though some all speed stuff we need to, but get guys out with fastballs. Yeah. Thank you.